How you doing there folks? Baders here with another video for you all. Today we're going to look at part 1 of the 100 best weapon mods for Fallout 4. Remember if you like this video to smush down on that like button. Because if I get enough likes on this video, then maybe my wife and kids will look me in the eyes again during dinner. Now go ahead and get a little too handsy with a display mannequin, and let's get to average painting, baby! Here we have the Remington 870 pump by Kovadunga. When I look at this pump action shotgun, I'm reminded of a quote. Please! No! I've got kids! This weapon mod is like a time machine that lets me reconnect with the past in a way that I can actually smell that guy's tears. This pump action shotgun is simple but beautiful. It's got all its own custom meshes, textures, and looks very realistic in the game. But what really butters my nipples about this mod is the reload animation and how it actually accounts for the spent rounds. It's a small fix with a huge impact on immersion. This is definitely a great mod that's sure to improve anyone's playthrough of the game. Next up, we've got the AK-74M by FX0X01. You know those shampoo commercials where the actor lady comes on the screen all kerfuffled like the shampoo somehow fucked the shit out of her? She just looks at the screen all suggestive-like, you know, like biting her lip with one finger up her bum, giving off the, you better buy this fucking shampoo vibe. Well, let's just say if this weapon wand was a bottle of shampoo, I would still be in the shower rinse and repeating, if you know what I mean. This is a delicious weapon mod that has a very unique look at the AK in Fallout 4. This weapon looks amazing and has some really sweet customization options to keep your enemies guessing. I would highly recommend this weapon mod in anyone's playthrough of Fallout 4. Here we have the Misery Armor by Nova Finch. Now anyone who has played Halo knows that the weapons are designed to fight ETs, short for extraterrestrials, which means aliens. These weapons are made to take out the space garbage, and it shows. Now these weapons are all cooler than a polar bear's nipples, with doohickeys and thingamabobs that really make them look advanced. There's switches on these things that just make my butt cheeks moist. Shooting things in the Commonwealth will never feel the same after you dip your toes in these weapons. All with their very own custom meshes, textures, and animations to really make them pop in the game world. There's the M7, the M6, the M45, the MA5D, the M392, the M319, the M99, and the SRS99. All of which are excellent additions to the game. Here we have Kendall Ballistics by Dominionist Gaming. Now this is the type of weapon mod that spikes the demand in underwear sales all across the Commonwealth. You point this thing at anything in the Commonwealth and it'll be sure to blow a hole right through its tidy whities It's just got all the gizmos and gadgets that go into powerful yet aesthetically appealing weapon mods. It's got some crispy meshes and textures, juicy reload animations, and some unique characteristics and cosmetics that really fluff up my ball bag. This is one of those weapon mods that just looks and functions so good, it's hard to imagine a playthrough of Fallout 4 without it now. Here we have the Wildly Survivor by Tactagool. This is the type of weapon mod that's sure to give all the baddies in the Commonwealth a puckered butthole. This is a mean hand cannon. Even in the equipping animation for this thing looks mean. It's like smack a lunchable right out of your mouth kind of mean, you know? This is a really unique weapon mod, both in how it looks and how it handles in the game. When you use this weapon, you'll definitely feel like you're using something completely new in your playthrough. This weapon looks great, handles better, and even has some customization options to keep it perky and fresh in the game. Here we have the Night Sword by Billy Rowe. Some of you are probably thinking, what in the slippery penis is a medieval sword doing in Fallout 4? The real question though, is how do I get marinara sauce off my nipples because it's starting to burn? This mod adds a Night Sword to Fallout 4 that just looks stew fucking pendus in the game. It's got some superb meshes and textures that just give it that realistic look and feel. This sword is also so sharp it can cut through a girthy bamboo tree in one swipe. And that's pretty sharp according to any martial arts display I've ever seen. This is an excellent mod that adds a realistic historic weapon to Fallout 4 and it does it with a little style. Now here we have the Cavalry Revolver by Holgarth. Now when I look at this weapon mod, my eyes light up like I'm a Disney princess, and for a fleeting moment, I know what it feels like to enslave wilderness creatures with my supple singing voice. It's fucking magical, you know? This revolver mod is more than meets the eye. On the surface, we've got this great looking revolver, but under its sexy outer layer, it's a magical world of customization options. 
This revolver lets you basically create whatever kind of revolver you can dream of. From a tiny six shooter to a long girthy dragon slayer. This is a fun mod that looks great and lets you really make a weapon to suit your particular playstyle. Here we've got the handmade anti-material rifle by Shoe Burglar. Now building your own weapon is hard work. I once tried to build a doomsday device at a Lego, but I was thwarted by a lippy toddler that got me kicked out of the playroom at the doctor's office. Apparently I was scaring the kitties with my bursts of maniacal laughter. And according to the security guard that had to drag me out of there, I was too old to be playing in the fun room. F*** do they know though, huh? Anyways. All I gotta say is I got a lot of respect for homemade weapons, even if they are held together with duct tape and perseverance. This is an excellent, very original mod for Fallout 4, with custom everything from animations to textures to even sounds. This weapon mod has got all the right stuff. This anti-material rifle is a great, immersive addition to anyone's playthrough of the game. Now here we've got the Mosin Nagant by FX0X01. Now some people, when they look at this Mosin Nagant, they see its rich wooden frame, or its precision craftsmanship, or the mod author's excellent attention to detail. But all I see is a diary entry that would confuse even the most seasoned psychotherapists. Let's just say there would be butt stuff. This is an excellent weapon mod that really stands out in the game. The mod author did an incredible job recreating the Mosin in Fallout 4. It is both incredibly realistic and immersive. And if that doesn't blow warm air right between your butt cheeks, then note that there are some customization options that don't just change the style, but also change the reload animations for the entire weapon. This mod is amazing on so many levels. Next up, we've got the Hunting Shotgun by Deadpool2099. Now you'll notice as you run your eyeballs across this weapon mod's succulent frame, from the stock all the way to the boom hole, that it's quite clean. But we all know that deep down in its heart of hearts sits a dirty girl, isn't it? Aren't you? Yes. Yes, you are a dirty girl. Now this weapon mod is easy on the eyes, but on top of that, it's got a great personality. It's a giver. I mean, it just loves to give. Its favorite charitable donation is a lethal dose of metal beads, usually blasted at somebody's face, neck, chest, or butthole. This is a wonderful mod that's both realistic and immersive. There are even two custom variants of this weapon located throughout the world space. I feel like this is a double pump shotgun because every time I pump a new round into the chamber, I also pump some more blood into my penis. Here we have the Scar H by Robertson B1. Now this weapon mod is known for whooping ass. It's actually so notorious for whooping on them cheeks that villains are afraid to even leave their homes for fear of getting smacked in the crack. Okay? This is just a really cool weapon mod with all its own custom animations that separate it from every other assault rifle on the Nexus. It also has a nice selection of customization options that really give it its own unique flair in the game. In some ways, it reminds me a little bit of Call of Duty. Either way, this is an excellent and very realistic addition to anyone's playthrough of the game. Here we have the Henry Repeating Rifle by D. Magnus. Now the Henry Repeating Rifle was named after a monkey named Henry who could only say the word ficus. Rumor has it the monkey was from the future and could only poop standing up. I just made all of that up to sound knowledgeable, and I'm not sure if any of that info is historically accurate at all. Either way, this is an awesome old-timey repeating rifle with some really cool customization options, including a scope that's so long it can see my innermost secrets. The design, meshes, and textures all bang on to make this weapon a truly beautiful addition to the game. And here, we've got Crossbows of the Commonwealth by Tricky Vane. It's funny, but you show up to a gun show with a crossbow, and everyone thinks you failed the background assessment due to being mentally unfit. Apparently, writing strongly agree when a question asks you if you'd kill somebody is not the right response. Anyways, this mod adds some incredible crossbows into Fallout 4. Before this mod, crossbows, like, weren't even a thing in the game. After this mod, it's hard to imagine the game without them. The design, textures, and animations all work seamlessly to make this mod really stand out in the game. There's even a generous assortment of customization options to mold this weapon to fit your preferred playstyle. This is an incredible addition to anyone's playthrough of the game. Here we have the Defense Gun by Yonotaku. This gun mod is all you need in terms of defense, which is great. It's definitely better than what I had before. If you must know, I owned a guard gerbil. Let's just say he was terrible at his job. My house got broken into constantly, and on three separate occasions, I was raped. Two of which, I'm pretty sure, were the gerbil! Hard to convince a jury, though, that a guard gerbil fondled your giblets. 
Now, this weapon mod is so much better than that gerbil, okay? It's got all its own custom meshes and textures, which really bring it to life in the game. It's even got some great customization options to almost completely change its look and feel. This gun is immersive and an excellent addition to anyone's playthrough of Fallout 4. Here we have the Fusion Gun by Fallout Sweet. Now, if there's one thing that I've learned from pushing buttons all willy-nilly in places where you shouldn't push buttons all willy-nilly, is that science can be dangerous. The Fusion Gun is a great and immersive example of how technology can be awesome in Fallout 4. This weapon just looks and feels so Fallout that it's hard to believe that it wasn't in the game before this mod. However, that just means this mod author did their homework and made an extremely well thought out new energy weapon for Fallout. This weapon mod also has some customization options so you can mix and match until you find something that just really screams you, you know? Now the design, meshes, and textures are all excellently crafted on this weapon mod to not only add a new weapon to the game, but a weapon that looks, feels, and even smells like an already existing weapon in the lore. Here, we've got the Crude Blowback by XXS. The Crude Blowback, despite sounding like the name of a peculiar sexual fetish, is actually a really sweet weapon mod for Fallout 4. It's got that homemade look and feel that just gets me all sweaty and rambunctious for obvious reasons. Makeshift weapons just fit Fallout's aesthetic so well, and this weapon mod is a perfect example of that. This weapon is incredibly immersive and looks 100% believable in the game. It's got some customization options as well, so it's no one-trick pony. It's a pony with many tricks. It's basically a pony pimp. The meshes, textures, and overall design of this weapon serve to make it an almost perfect addition to Fallout 4. Next up, we've got the Varmint Rifle by XXS. The Varmint Rifle, it's lean, it's mean, and it's a wabbit's worst nightmare. Honestly, I don't know what the fuck Elmer Fudd was thinking hunting rabbits with a shotgun. That would obliterate its tiny little varmint body. Was he planning on eating it afterwards? If he was, it would just be fucking goo. Anyways, what Fudd really needed was a varmint rifle. That way, he could have murdered Bugs Bunny without being wasteful. This varmint rifle looks delightful in Fallout 4. The mod author did a great job recreating this weapon from Fallout New Vegas for Fallout 4. It looks realistic, and it's super immersive. Also, it's got a few customization options to really powder your titties in the game. Next, we've got the Falcon 3 by Crimson Matrix. Now, this weapon mod might look like a tiny, deformed, small caliber sidearm because that's what it is. Now, this might not look like a conventional firearm, but I can assure you that if you slide this boomstick up somebody's bum crevice, then they will never sh right ever again. This is a unique handgun with a beautifully crafted meshes and textures that make it an outstanding addition to anyone's playthrough of the game. There's also a few customization options as well, which will really take things up a notch, and it's got its own unique sight, which looks completely different from anything else I've seen in Fallout 4 before. Next, we've got the Grease Gun by Deadpool2099. Now, when I first heard of the Grease Gun, I thought to myself, that's ludicrous. Why would anyone want a gun covered in grease? It would be impossible to hold on to. It would just be slipping and sliding and flopping all over the goddamn place. Come to find out, the grease gun isn't dipped in grease at all. So now I feel a little foolish, and I definitely regret bitch slapping that old guy that tried to tell me that at the mall. Sorry, Dad. However, this is a really cool weapon mod with all the bells and whistles, including custom meshes, textures, and animations that all serve to make this weapon look realistic and immersive in the world space. It's also got its fair share of customization options to change its look and function to suit your particular playstyle. This is a great weapon mod that's not nearly as slippery as it sounds. Next up, we've got the RU-556 by none other than FX-0. X01. This weapon mod is so nice that if it was a person, it would likely have a restraining order out against me. Because of the constant groping, fondling, and not safe for work touching, I do do it when we were alone together. Oh, the secrets you could tell. Anyways, this is an excellent weapon mod with a plethora of customization options that complement its unique design and its realistic animations and custom meshes and textures. This mod is so much fun to use in the game, it's probably forbidden in certain countries. Next up, we've got World War I Weapons by Trophy Hunter. This mod adds three new, or should I say, old weapons all at once. This mod is what we in the business call a threefer. This first weapon is the British Cavalry Sword. Seeing as how guns were used primarily during the First World War, this sword was mainly used to let everyone know you were a f***ing psycho. This mod also adds a trench knife, which looks like an old-school shiv. 
I guess it was prison rules down in them trenches, eh? This mod also adds a unique billy club to the game that was used when people were trying to surrender peacefully. You could just smack the shit out of them with this thing and yell, STOP RESISTING! Even though they were not resisting. This is a great mod that really brings some classic World War I weapons to life in Fallout 4. Not only do these weapons look incredibly believable in the game, but they're also immersive as World War I weapons existed in Fallout's history. Next up, we've got the Colt Delta Elite by Cowie. If there's one thing that I've learned from car washes is that if you get the choice between standard and elite, you go with elite. With the elite wash, your car will go in looking like a dirt squirrel and come out looking cleaner. The standard edition is just a chubby guy in thong underpants spraying your back window with a garden hose. It's not effective. The Colt Delta Elite lives up to its name by adding an amazing custom Colt pistol to Fallout 4. This beauty has an assortment of customization options to really make it the bell of the ball, and truly make it an excellent addition to Fallout 4. Next up, we've got the Star Wars lightsabers by D. Magnus. Now, ever since I was a wee boy, I always dreamed of being a space wizard and cutting an alien in half with a lightning stick. You know, some scuzzy, gooey-eyed E.T. who wronged me in some way or another. I'd just cut it in half like it was a pineapple in one of those Miracle Blade commercials. It would be speaking some bullshit alien language and THWAP! I would swat him right across the mouth. Well now with this mod installed, that dream can become a reality in Fallout 4. This mod adds lightsabers to the game which look and function awesome in the game. Although these weapons are from Star Wars, they fit remarkably well into the Fallout universe. I absolutely adore this mod and think it's a great addition to anyone's playthrough of the game. Next on the chopping block, we've got the FNP90 by Robertson B1. The FN in the FNP90 must stand for f***ing nice, because I must say this weapon mod is bitchin' in every sense of the word. It's got all its own custom meshes and textures, and even its own custom animation, which really helps separate this weapon mod from the herd. It looks realistic in the world space and fits in really well to the game as a whole. This weapon mod just pushes all the right buttons in all the right areas, if you know what I mean. Next up, we've got the Remington 1858 by Kova Dunga. Now, old Western-style revolvers are all the craze in a world where ghouls, goblins, and mutants are all trying to snack on your nutsack for sustenance. Now, single-action revolvers might not have the bullet capacity or the fire rate to call home about, but they are reliable, and that counts for a lot in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Now, in terms of single-action revolvers, this one's amongst the best you can find. It looks and feels realistic in the game with all its own custom meshes, textures, and design. Squeezing off a few rounds with this thing will make you feel as free as a recently escaped convicted felon. Next up, we've got the Handmade Revolver by AxeXS. In a post-apocalyptic dystopian future, it's no surprise that weapons are a bit of a do-it-yourself endeavor. This mod really embodies that desperate struggle for survival without access to Gunter's Gun Emporium. This weapon definitely looks and feels handmade with limited resources. Its appearance is both immersive and realistic, given the circumstances of Fallout's environment. This mod has a completely unique design with custom meshes and textures that are superbly done by the mod author. This pistol also has a fair share of customization options as well to really fluff up its appearance in the game. I would highly recommend this weapon mod in anyone's playthrough of Fallout 4. Next up, we've got the Walther P99 by Trophy Hunter. When I think of the Walther P99, I'm reminded of all the pistols that just aren't up to snuff in comparison. This pistol is so nice, it makes the vanilla pistols look like dilapidated buttholes. It's got a sleek, almost cavalier design that just makes my boner swell up like a water balloon. It's got all its own custom meshes and textures, and it's even got a number of customization options to thwart your enemies with a variety of options. This is a great mod that just adds to the overall appeal of Fallout 4. Next up, we've got the M1 Garand by AxeXS. Now, I'm no fancy book-learned weapon monologist, but I'm pretty sure Garand means large, which doesn't really make sense because this isn't like a humongous weapon. I mean, it's no baby dick, but it's not gorilla penis large either, you know? It's somewhere in the middle. It's a powerful enough rifle with a slow rate of fire. However, it is accurate. And if my memory serves me, I'm pretty sure it was the gun that was used to blow up Jaws. So, thank f for that. This mod looks and functions in a very realistic fashion, with custom meshes, textures, sounds, and animations that completely recreate this classic rifle in Fallout 4. There are even a few customization options to mix it up in the game. This mod is superbly made and an absolute incredible addition to the game. 
Next, we've got the Widow Shotgun by Corvolo 1. Now, this weapon definitely looks like something out of a Blade movie. I feel like Wesley is going to pop up out of nowhere with this weapon and just shoot an immortal succubus right in the fur burger. This weapon looks and feels awesome in the game with custom meshes and textures and a unique design that makes ghouls and goblins shart in their granny panties. This mod is just so sweet. It makes me all sorts of excited, you know? Next up, we've got N7's Badass 1911 Redux by Legacy Slayer. Now, I'm not exactly sure what makes something badass, but I can tell you this. One thing that will not make you a badass is jerking off onto a giant block of cheese. That will just get you kicked out of the dairy section of the grocery store yet again. So one thing we know for sure about these 1911s is that they've never jizzed on cheese, which is a win right there, I think. You know, these 1911s look absolutely incredible, though. I mean, they're some of the nicest looking pistol weapon mods I've ever seen on the Nexus. They all have their own custom meshes and textures and sound. And the best part of this mod is you'll have to play through the game to get the upgrades for these guns. So it gives this mod a real sense of longevity in the game. There are also a couple unique variants of the 1911 that can be found throughout the world space. This mod is a ton of fun and an excellent addition to Fallout 4. Next up, we've got the MPX Sig Sawyer by Eddie Eckie. I got the weirdest call the other night at like 3 a.m. I pick up the phone and all I hear is, put me in your game, you little bitch. I'm like, oh my god. So long story short, this gun is in my game now. Now, having this weapon mod in my game is definitely a win, though. I mean, it's got all its own custom meshes, textures, and sound that just make it look and feel amazing in the game. It's also got a fair share of customization options to spice up its style in the game. And there's even a unique variant called the Diplomat that can be found around in the world space. This is a great weapon mod and a great addition to anyone's arsenal in the game. Next up, we've got the 9mm pistol by Deadpool2099. The 9mm pistol is the gun you just need in your arsenal. It's compact, immersive, realistic, and it knows how to keep a secret. Squeezing off a few rounds with this beauty will make you feel like an alien from the planet Boner. This gun has all its own custom animations, textures, and meshes. This gun looks so good in the game, I actually caught a miler butt it in a dark alley. And trust me, you can't unsee that shit. Next up, we've got the Jericho 941 by Haifu. Now, a lot of people don't know this about the Jericho, but it used to be a pistol, but now it sexually identifies as a sword. I liked it as a gun, but I love it as a sword. What's really great about this sword gun weapon is its pre-op. So it still shoots like a gun, and it's pretty much a gun in every way, except now it dresses like a sword and gets really offended when someone misidentifies it as a gun. Sometimes I don't even know which holster to put it in. Do I put it in the gun holster or, or a sword sheath? I don't know. So many questions. Somehow in 2019, the simple act of holstering a weapon has become confusing as tits, and I honestly think society is much more woke because of it. The Jericho is a beautiful weapon mod in Fallout 4, with custom meshes, textures, and sounds that really bring it to life in the game. Its unique design and customization options really set it apart from other weapon mods on the Nexus. I would highly recommend this weapon mod to anyone's playthrough of the game. Next up, we've got the Modular Simonoff PTRS-41 by Kazumam QJ. Imagine a sniper rifle so big and powerful that it could blow a hole in the SS Enterprise first try and just have Captain Kirk sucked out into space. Now imagine that gun all hopped up in performance enhancers and bath salts and you'll have yourself the PTRS-41. This is the type of weapon that makes all the other weapons sensitive about the size of their genitals. It's large, it's powerful, and it cuts in line and nobody says shit. This humongous weapon mod has a ton of customization options as well to complement its custom meshes, textures, and sounds. That's right, this bad boy even sounds powerful. Literally every time you pull the trigger on this thing, a gorilla shits for no reason. This weapon is an incredible addition to the game, one that I think everyone will enjoy. Next up, we've got the Viper Armory by Scale. Certain weapons definitely look more tactical than other weapons. This is one of those times. This shotgun looks much more tactical than your typical pump-action shotgun. This bad boy looks like it got picked on in high school, so it joined the police force and overcompensated for those years of psychological abuse with steroids and amateur paintings of Doberman Pinchers. This gun has a hard-on for payback and would give you a ticket for speed reading without a permit. This weapon mod looks awesome, though, and has some customization options that further its unique design. All the messes and textures are totally custom and really make this lion purr in the game world. 
Next, we've got the McMillan CS5 by AJ Hakra. You know my favorite thing about using a sniper rifle is the distance between you and danger. You shoot at a super mutant from a quarter mile out and miss, then that super mutant has to pull up his man panties and try to run you down. However, by the time he gets to your crow's nest, you'll be long gone. Unless you're still paralyzed by the fear, that is, because that's always a real danger for me. Anyways, this weapon mod is an awesome option for sniping in Fallout 4. It's got all its own custom design, meshes, and textures, and just looks outstanding in the game. It also has a plethora of modification options to really spruce things up and keep your enemies on their toes. I would highly recommend this mod in anyone's playthrough of the game. Next on our list, we've got the L96A1 by Eutherin. The L96. Now, if my math serves me, there were probably another 95 iterations of this weapon that just weren't up to snuff. But on the 96th a one try, it wasn't too hot, wasn't too cold, it was just right, you know? This weapon mod is a beautiful addition to Fallout 4. It's got a modern design and feel, but the textures and meshes go great with the environment. So it fits even though in Fallout's timeline, this beauty likely didn't exist. There are a couple of customization options for this baby, and boy, do they just complement it in all the right ways. Now I'd be lying to you guys if I said that this weapon mod doesn't make my butt cheeks moist. Next up, we've got the Murdering Chainsaw by Tricky Vane. Chainsaws are known primarily for one thing, and that's murdering. What other reason is there to own a chainsaw? Fucking yard work? Do you have any idea what kind of a fucking lunatic you'd look like doing yard work with a chainsaw? Like trimming hedges and shit? Revving that thing up like a madman drooling and grunting while wearing a human face in a butcher's robe? You would have neighbors for all of like eight seconds. I made it a point to not live within a hundred mile radius of anyone that owns a chainsaw. The way I see it is I want to put as much ground or resistance between me and that chainsaw owning psycho freak as possible. So when he does snap and go on a murder frenzy, by the time he gets to my neighborhood, he'll be all tuckered out, his arms and legs completely drained from frantically chasing everyone else. Point is, now you can have your very own chainsaw in Fallout 4. The chainsaw looks and feels like a chainsaw, and it's sure to scare the f*** out of anything in your general proximity as soon as you turn it on. So you can really bask in the horrifying screams of your enemies with this mod installed. Next on our list, we've got the ACR W17 by N7R. Now here's another great assault rifle mod for Fallout 4. It seems to have all the bells and whistles people look for in weapon mods. It's got custom meshes, textures, and animations. It's also got an enormous amount of customization options, including the ability to put specific names on the side of the weapon, like your favorite faction or even your favorite YouTuber. But wait, wait, what's this? No average baiters. Well, that's disappointing. What in the jiggly ball bag would make this mod author forget about good old average baiters? Well, with or without average baiters as an option, this is an excellent mod that makes an awesome addition to anyone's playthrough of the game. Next on our list, we've got the RPG 7v2 by Robertson B1. Now, the RPG is a weapon that makes other weapons look like little bitches. Name one problem that can't be sorted with a rocket launcher. I just feel safe with this bad boy on my person at all times. We do everything together. We sleep together, shower together, frolic through the meadows together. I even asked this weapon to be my best man at my wedding. Sadly, it said no because it had prior engagements with mayhem and destruction. This weapon has all the goodies, including all its own custom meshes, textures, and animations. This gun is an absolutely amazing addition to Fallout 4 and one that will improve anyone's play through the game. Next up, we've got the Watts Laser Gun by Deadpool2099. Now this gun is every little girl's dream. It's got the custom meshes and textures that'll just spruce up your street cred. It's also got some custom animations that look and feel so real that I actually thought Geppetto wished this gun to life. Turns out, he didn't. It's just a really, really nice weapon mod. This gun is actually a recreation of a weapon from Fallout New Vegas. And the mod author did an amazing job recreating him for Fallout 4. This is definitely an excellent addition to anyone's playthrough of the game. Next on our list, we've got the Lamat Revolver by D Magnus. Now this is a French revolver. Now a lot of you may not know this, but Lamat is actually French for fat nipples. The creator of this weapon was not a fan of fat nipples, so he created a weapon that could thwart them once and for all. Now everyone said he was crazy. They said it can't be done, but boy did he show them 
and their fat nipples. Now this is a really cool weapon mod with all its own custom meshes and textures and a fair amount of customization options to make it more unique. Like the real Lamat, it shoots both shotgun and pistol rounds. This is a super cool mod that's a ton of fun to use in the game. And if you're into western style revolvers, this is definitely a must have addition to your playthrough of Fallout 4. Next up we've got Chris Vector by CHN Ghost Delta. Now when I see this vector I'm reminded of an old Mexican proverb. Oh Chico S.A. Vector me da una erection. Which roughly translates to that vector gives me a boner. Because it does. It definitely does. This is a great weapon mod with custom meshes, textures, and animations that all really bring it to life in the game. There's also a fair share of customization options for this weapon, so you can really fluff its buttons in the game. Next up, we've got the 9x39 Project by FX0X01. Generally, I don't think it's a good idea to mix math and weapons. 9 times 39 what does that even mean? I don't own a supercomputer, so it seems like this is just going to continue to be a mystery and stay hidden forever, like the pharaohs and Santa's elves. There's one thing I do know for certain, though, and it's that this is a wicked couple of weapon mods. You've got a sniper and what seems to be some sort of an assault rifle that are both just awesomely crafted. They've got their own custom meshes, textures, and designs that make my nipples perk up in excitement. Both look almost identical to their real-world counterparts and look very realistic in the world space. I would highly recommend both of these weapon mods to anyone's play through the game. Next up, we've got the Russian Recon Pack by FX0X01. Now, there are two things I don't trust in this world. Guys who promise me candy out of the back of sketchy vans and Russian nesting dolls. Something about a doll smuggling tiny versions of itself everywhere it goes just leaves me confused and angry. I don't know why. However, I can assure you that there's not a tinier version of these weapons located in these weapons. I've done my research and we are in the clear. This mod adds some super sweet Russian weapons to the game that look absolutely amazing. With all their own custom meshes, textures, and animations, these mods look almost lifelike in the game. These weapons offer a great alternative to the Western style of weapons and do so in a really believable way. I absolutely love these weapon mods and would recommend them to anyone's play through the game. Next on our list, we've got the M16 pack by Train CDG. Now, M16s are most known because they were overutilized back in the Call of Duty Modern Warfare days by a bunch of campers. It had a laser beam three round burst that would essentially snipe people across the map or up close or at medium range. I mean, it was so OP in Call of Duty, it could take you out even if you were playing a different game. You'd be bouncing around in Mario Kart and then BOOM! Headshot! Try Hard 69 got gotcha. you. You know? The M16 is a classic and efficient American weapon, and this mod author does a great job bringing it to life in Fallout 4. It has all its own custom meshes and textures, and really manages to capture its likeness in the game. Next up, we've got the Krebs AK by FX0X01. Well, Krebs has to be like some sort of gang affiliation, which is Savage with a capital G. Chances are it had to murder in to prove its chops too. That's what gangs look for, right? Chops. Anyways, it doesn't matter because the Krebs AK is badass gang or no gang. It doesn't matter how you cut this banana, okay? Because the Krebs AK is it's got the chops. It's got all it's getting it's got everything it needs. Okay? It's got it's got all the goods. It's got all the goodies. This AK doesn't really look like other AKs, probably because of its street gang affiliation. I mean it's no typical off-the-counter beta cuck AK. It's the Krebs AK. So that means it's got its own special look. It also has its own custom meshes and textures, which look awesome in Fallout 4. Next, we've got the Stayerog A1 by FX0X01. This weapon mod has almost completely changed the way I play Fallout 4. Like for instance, before this mod, I never used an AUG before, and after installing this mod, I sometimes use an AUG. This is a pretty sweet weapon mod with all its own custom meshes, textures, and animations, making this weapon a realistic and immersive addition to Fallout 4. One that's sure to improve anyone's playthrough of the game. Next, we've got the Beretta 92FS Sword Cutlass by J. Menaru. Now, this Beretta, weirdly enough, owes me 20 bucks. Have I ever asked for my money back? No. No, I haven't. Because it's a f***ing Beretta, and I doubt it understands English. Now, this Beretta is modeled after Revy's custom Berettas from the Black Lagoon, and it just looks delightful in Fallout 4. The custom meshes and textures skedaddle around in my cerebellum, causing euphoric sensations in my man parts. Simply put, I have an erect penis when I'm using this mod. 
Next on our list, we've got the Trench Gun by Akonami. The Trench Gun, despite its name, was not actually created or found in a trench. See, this is a common misconception. Trench is actually referring to Mariana's Trench, which is this gun's favorite band. And gun stands for gun, because it's a gun. Now, despite listening to a group of soy boy beta cucks crying about their girlfriends gobbling other guys' dicks, this gun is still quite formidable. This shotgun looks, feels, and even smells realistic in Fallout 4. The design, meshes, and textures all serve to make me hornier than a monkey in a banana factory. This is a sweet weapon with a questionable taste in music. Thanks again for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to slap that subscribe button like it's three weeks behind on your rent bitch where's the money bitch where's the money where is it also go ahead and hit that bell icon too because apparently youtube thought there should be extra steps why not right i'd like to subscribe but first i have to click this and this and do this oh it needs an email all right and this okay just tell me when he's uploading Fuck. once you do all that if you're lucky at the stroke of midnight a tiny little average baiter's fairy might come and tickle your butthole I hope to see you all again next time, and remember to keep on average baiting, baby.